close, Alicia body screamed. And she screamed, and she screamed, and she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. I can't possibly travel in coaches riddled with mice. Look at the little green engine, so sweet and dirty, like a proper steam engine. They cross half the island. Sir Topham Hatt had made the little mouse her very own home in the corner of Tidmouth Sheds, and Thomas named her Alicia. I can't arrive at a picnic on such a dirty train. What would my public say? Don't worry, a good clean is all you need. I've never seen an engine have a bath before. How delightful. Shoo cows, shoo shoo cows. I'm pleased to be traveling with you, Thomas. My goodness me, this is a surprise. I thought Thomas was steady and slow. What thrills and what fun on the way to my show. And I'm Alicia Botti. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Alicia Botti juddered and jumped. <laughs> and this is even more fun. Bye-bye. Then Thomas heard singing. He smiled from buffer to buffer. That's Miss Botti singing. Hooray! Thomas found Miss Botti by the bridge. He had never heard anything as beautiful as Miss Botti singing. Miss Botti cheerfully waved goodbye as the crowd clapped and cheered. Not at all, Bertram. Thomas has made me very happy. I've had the ride of my life. So many people to sing to and such fun. Alicia Botti was singing sweetly. Then James gasped. There was another surprise. Thomas and Edward were using their strong lamps to light the concert. Please, sir, may I shine my lamp on Miss Botty? Then everyone will see her for miles around. Very well, James. Now, James didn't feel silly at all. He felt very, very important. Hello, Percy. I'm waiting for Gordon to take me to Napford. Whoa! 